Uh, hello, this is Dr. Richard Cheng reporting uh, from Shanghai, updating on a few issues. And uh, uh, because of the video, and I like to remind you that I will put in the text below this video of the relevant uh, references. Okay. The first one was that it was brought to my attention that one of my friends who posted the Shanghai official recommendation of IV high dose vitamin C to be used in the uh, COVID-19 infection. And uh, the, my friend told me and showed me the screenshot that uh, a Facebook fact check uh, function says, no, the Shanghai government did not officially recommend the high dose IVC in the COVID-19 treatment. Well, I like to say it is a fact that Shanghai government officially recommended high dose IVC in the treatment. Not only that, I also reported earlier that in Shanghai, the expert consensus, uh, the Shanghai experts have treated about 50 cases with high, high dose IVC, and they continue to treat uh, COVID-19 patients with high dose IVC as uh, we've been learning more experiences. And also earlier I mentioned that the COVID-19 infection cases have dwindled and in Shanghai, there was a long period, I don't remember exactly, but probably about 10 to uh, two weeks without new cases. But now there appears to be an increasing number of COVID-19 patients, and uh, all, all of them are from the international travelers, those who either visiting China or returning uh, to China. And now the Chinese government has a new policy that uh, all the international flights would come to Shanghai and uh, all those travelers, tourists will be triaged in Shanghai. That's the reason why Shanghai begins to see uh, a surge, not really a surge, but an increasing number of uh, COVID infection uh, patients. So the Shanghai team uh, is continuing their work and uh, using high dose IVC to treat those patients. And I'm in close contact with the uh, expert panel. And uh, stay tuned because we plan to do a studio-based interview and talk in detail about these uh, uh, cases and uh, the plan strategy. The second issue, and so well, before I finish on the first issue, I will give you the uh, screenshots later on. But uh, uh, whoever uh, does their fact check, please do their diligence. At least somebody should uh, uh, visit those websites and or talk to me. And second one was that I want to bring to your attention that uh, one of my uh, uh, articles was recently published in a peer-reviewed journal published by the uh, Elsevier company. As you know, Elsevier is a large publishing house. And it's on drug medicine and drug discovery. And uh, this uh, the title of it is Can Early and Large High-Dose IV Vitamin C be used in the treatment and prevention of COVID-19? Uh, the answer, of course, is uh, yes. And I will give you the link in my text below. And thirdly, I'd like to mention to you that actually uh, in the wake of this COVID-19 pandemic, and also uh, uh, we have to understand we don't really have any viral COVID-19 viral specific drugs or vaccines available. So we need to uh, utilize any possible treatment, whether it's uh, uh, proactive or active against the virus or, or supportive measures. And so recently, as you probably already know, it's uh, in all kind of headlines that uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci, the head of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease at the NIH in Bethesda, uh, uh, publicly stated that he uh, supports vitamin C uh, usage, and he sees uh, he says there are studies that show efficacy of vitamin C in its uh, uh, effects against the virus infection. And also, uh, YouTuber uh, reported and media reported that uh, Dr. Thomas Friedman, the former CDC chief, uh, says that vitamin D is effective in immune boosting, okay. And these are very, these are all VIPs, significant leaders in the medical, in the mainstream medicine, medicine. And uh, the fact that they are able to face the 
uh, nutritional values and the, 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 the true values of these uh, vitamins and is, is very portable and uh, it's a great turnaround and, uh, and we need to face these issues squarely. I mean, you know, we're not saying, uh, but anyway, I'll stop right there. And uh, lastly, I mean, uh, also I like to, you know, it's a great that uh, the U.S. healthcare system is paying attention to vitamin C's efficacy. Well, we don't have many other treatments, right? And uh, it's reported that uh, a New York hospital chain begins to use uh, high-dose vitamin C in the treatment of COVID-19 infection. But also it is a little bit disturbing to see the reports that uh, uh, in particular, Long Island Hospital, uh, the vitamin C dosage used is uh, too small. One report says that it's uh, 1.5 gram, which is 1,500 milligram every six hours. And uh, that doesn't add much. That adds to less than 10 grams per day. And for uh, in the literature and the existing case reports and small case studies uh, of these severe infections, and uh, also the Shanghai experience or the China experience that uh, uh, vitamin C needs to be much higher dose for optimal results. The dosage used in the New York, New York hospital chain is suboptimal. And let me be uh, frank with you. And I think even the dosage used in China uh, is suboptimal, although I have been uh, reminding them uh, on numerous occasions and uh, repetitively. And of course, you know, uh, not everybody is uh, 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 is as straightforward as I am. I say, but anyway, so uh, I would uh, advise because th th there's severe consequences. I mean, if the if you use vitamin C not in the optimal dosage sc scenario, then you will not uh, receive optimal uh, results and. Uh, and if it shows no effect or minimum effects on COVID-19 infection uh, treatment, then it may actually do a harm to, to the health, to the people, and to the vitamin C and uh, nutrition. Well, the reason is, well, because uh, the naysayers of vitamin C or other nutritional uh, support will come out and say, well, you see, vitamin C doesn't work. It happened before, and let me remind you, as you probably very well know, uh, in the past, uh, one Dr. Pauling and uh, 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 Dr. Cameron reported uh, of uh, IV high-dose vitamin C treatment of cancer patients. They reported, of course, the study uh, is not as well controlled as uh, the true scientists, uh, you know, those strict scientists claim, not uh, the double-blind RCT. Uh, the Dr. Pollings, they, they reported about 100 patients and they saw a survival of uh, four times higher in the vitamin C patients than the non-vitamin C cancer patients. Remember, these patients receive high dose through, the vitamin, uh, through IV intravenously. Well, later on, Mayo Clinic did a study and they used the vitamin C by mouth, okay? And the results obviously were not uh, positive. And then, of course, the media and all the reports speak, look, oh, vitamin C doesn't work. Well, you have to understand, vitamin C, in, like in drugs, uh, like vitamin C, here actually high dose vitamin C is a drug. Okay, it's not your nutritional supplement. Dosage makes the paramount importance. Okay, any drug, it's, if, it, the, if the dosage is not optimal, not optimal, it will not achieve the optimal dosage uh, effect. Okay, so so it's been reported and shown repetitively in the past that uh, uh, less than optimal uh, dosage will not achieve optimal results, and uh, the the uh, the naysayers will pick it up as a proof that vitamin C doesn't work. And uh, the dosage difference between IV vitamin C and oral vitamin C is at least one mag magnitude. Uh, different, okay. IV vitamin C will be at least ten times higher, and oftentimes can be two magnitude, can be hundreds or, or dozens of times higher, and that is very critical, okay. So, so I like to uh, uh, anybody worldwide who uses high V, uh, high dose vitamin C, if you do it, either you don't do it, 
If you do it, I advise you do it optimally, and because if you don't, you may hurt people. Because then again, people will not be able to use vitamin C. Such a uh, uh, safe, inexpensive, and uh, effective uh, uh, vitamin and drug in this case. And thank you very much. I will post the references below on the text uh, in the text.